Hey everyone, and it's time for part 12 of my Demon Brant Kills Only run of Demon Souls. I'm at the smithing grounds and this crystal lizard must die. All crystal lizards must die. What I'm doing now is I'm on my way to the armor spider boss. Once I kill the armor spider boss, I'll be able to turn this world pure black. And then the final black phantom will spawn that I need to upgrade demon brant. And after that, I'll complete the game by doing a boss rush. That's my plan. Anyway, so yeah, here we are. Although first, I need a hardstone shard, just one to upgrade my heater shield, and this guy sells them, so I'm going to buy one. Don't you agree? That does mean I'll have to go back to the Nexus to upgrade my shield, but that's okay. I think I'll get an upgrade on it. That'll make things a little easier from here. So yeah, I'm going to do that before I continue. I can forge weapons for you. Do come back alive. I need your business. Oh, is that? Do you have further off? Still regretting using the Storm Demon Soul. I really think the anti magic field would have helped out with the Black Phantom that's coming up. Oh well. I have to see how I go. Then touch the demon inside you. I shall await thy return, slayer of demons. That's just wrong. I don't really need to turn this on and go up and kill the fat official that's at the top here. I'm not going to rescue Yuria the Witch in this playthrough, so I don't need any fat official clothes. Not sure if this guy can drop them actually. But anyway, I just want to come up here and slam him with Demon Brant. It was such a pain in the ass with fists. I really just wanted to <laughs> kill him quickly and he's already dead. I didn't even finish talking. Now there's also a stone of ephemeral eyes, I think, at the very bottom here. I'm going to go grab it, but I don't actually need it. I have plenty of stones to turn this world black and spawn the final black phantom that I need. But I'm going to grab it anyway, because why not? The lighting and view here could make a good thumbnail. If I go into photo mode, see what I can see. I haven't actually taken any cool photos of my demon lady character since I started. Maybe this can be a cool thumbnail for this video. That's kind of cool. We'll see. Either that or I'll do a thumbnail of the actual boss.
Completely forgot to remove the poison ring and put back on the eternal warriors ring. Don't need the regenerators ring either. Eternal warriors ring and the thief ring. Definitely the two best rings to have on, I think. Two most helpful rings to have on when using a weapon that uses a lot of stamina. That's going to help towards upgrading the heater shield again. Man, it feels so good to be able to destroy those fat officials fast with Demon Brant instead of having to fight them for three hours with fists. So good. Those guys are so lumbering and slow, yet somehow still manage to interrupt a running, somersaulting sword sweep. They're a lot faster than they appear.
Well, I'm glad the fire lizards get one shot as well. This whole area is going to be super easy. I'll bet the armor spider boss goes down in a couple of hits. Guaranteed. A few hits and the spider will be dead. I don't need to kill these fire lizards, but this is just going to be too satisfying not to. I feel a bit spoiled by using Demon Brant. It's in a first playthrough, it's so good that everything is so easy. It kind of makes me a little less enthusiastic to do a dagger only run. I don't really fancy going back to many more hits and lower damage. I mean, it might be cool if I did a dagger only run, but I decided to make it more of a speed run. That might be interesting. I certainly wouldn't want to play through all of the content and do all of the exploring again though. I think that would be a bit tedious to me at this point, having done it already three times. I think this might be the last time I do that. Yeah, I think if I do a dagger only run, which is the only other kind of run that interests me, I think I would make it a quicker run. Maybe not a speed run, but I'm not, I'm not sure I'm like knowledgeable on, enough of the game to even contemplate doing an actual speed run but a quick run I could do a quick dagger run if I work out the most efficient path to getting a dagger or getting the special dagger and having throwing daggers and yeah maybe turn it into a really really fast assassin like run that could be cool anyway Mahita shields now at plus four so that's pretty good But you know, on the other hand, the more I think about it, there's like be a blacksmith. two or three weeks until Dying Light 2 comes out. I want to play that. Then there's Sifu. I might still play that. Then there's Horizon Forbidden West. Then there's Elden Ring. And then there's Evil Dead the game. And I want to play them all. And between now and that three weeks, I've got a backlog of games, many of which are really great, but I just have never made time to get to. So... Yeah, I don't think I will post another Demon Soul run. Not for now. This might be the last. And I might get onto some of these other games that I've really been neglecting, but I still really want to play. I've had one, Pumpkin Jack. I've been wanting to play that for, like, over a year. I really want to play that. The boss fights in that are meant to be super fun. And that's not to mention, like, others, too. Like, I've got... I want to play Hellblade before the sequel comes out, and I haven't played Hellblade yet. I want to play uh, Control. I haven't played that yet. And Greedfall. Man, there's so many games. Yeah, I, def I definitely need to play something new. I think I'm going to be way more enthusiastic over the next three weeks to see how many of my backlog I can knock off. How many games I can play. And I still have to work, so I don't really have all the time in the world. I have to pick and choose. That's why I have a backlog in the first place. There's never enough time.
But, you know, I'd rather have more games than I have time to play than more time than I have games to play. So I really shouldn't complain about that problem. And I'm not complaining. I'm actually really happy that I've got a bunch of games to play. I want more time so that I can play them, but... Man, it's a good feeling to know that every spare moment you have, there's something that you can do with it that you're going to enjoy. I say all that, but then on the other hand, there's the devil on my shoulder saying, yeah, but if you do a quick assassin style dagger only run, you'll do it really quickly. You could run the game in an hour or two. So then there's no excuse not to do it. So, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what happens. Look at the reach on that. Look at where he died compared to where the rocks are and where I was standing. <laughs> it's telescopic. Again, I could just run past all of these, but after struggling with them with fists, this is just too satisfying. I just have to hit them. I have to. Alright, I'm almost through to the armor spider boss. I think this will be the last area that I kill all the enemies and pick up all the items. I think once I kill the armor spider boss, after that, my main mission will be to kill the black phantom and then kill all the remaining bosses as fast as I possibly can. 
I hadn't intended to do that. I honestly thought a Demon Brant kills only run was going to be way harder than, than it's turned out to be. Like, I thought it would be difficult. I thought exploring all the areas and killing all the enemies with Demon Brant was going to be a challenge. Not quite maybe as hard as a fist only challenge, but I thought it would be a challenge and it just simply isn't a challenge at all. The challenge is mapping out the most efficient path to all the Black Phantoms to level Demon Brant up. That's the main challenge of this. And killing all of those Black Phantoms because they're challenging, but the rest of it isn't challenging at all. So I don't really feel compelled to keep doing the rest of it the way I intended. I think I would rather get to the Armour Spider boss, kill that, kill the Black Phantom that's near it, and then since Flame Lurker will be near that Black Phantom, starting with Flame Lurker, just rush all the bosses. I think that will be cool, and that's what I'm going to do. Alright, time for the armor spider boss. I think unlike in my previous runs, I'm not going to screw around with waiting at the midpoint, going into the left post and waiting for the spider to shoot three fireballs up the middle and all that stuff. I think with this one, I'm just going to dodge the fireballs, get right up in the spider's face and then whack it into oblivion with demon brant. I have a feeling the spider will die really quickly if I do that. I think I'll keep that great club. I think that'll be helpful for getting through the fallen uh, pillars in the dragon god boss fight. I think I'll keep that in my inventory rather than send it to storage. damage oh, three or four hits this is one phased for sure and we're done one phase beautiful that was awesome all right now i can turn this world pure black and the final Black Phantom to upgrade my character tendency and Demon Brant's damage is just ahead. First though, I'm going to kill that Crystal Lizard. Maybe get some upgrade materials for my shield. And also, I think I'm going to... These guys can drop Hardstone Shards too, I think. But I think before I go any further i want to go down and just see how demon brant fares against the two black phantoms at the bottom of the elevator over here
I mean, there's really nothing to be gained by killing these two black phantoms, but there's a bunch of crystal lizards down here too that I can kill, and maybe I'll get enough materials to be able to upgrade my shield a little bit more. Although, honestly, I don't really need to do that either. Alright, I don't really need to use the shield anymore. Just hit things and they die. Move on. Still, whatever. I'm gonna do it. Wow. They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, man. Fair enough. Alright, that'll do for here. Time to go back to the Nexus and then come back and beat Black Phantom Skurva. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's probably going to be a handful because he hits really hard with fire magic. I don't really have anything to deal with that. I mean, I could use the purple flame shield if I'd upgraded strength, but I haven't. The heater shield will stop 70% of the fire damage. But he hits really hard, so if you block it with a shield, I think it'll take nearly all of your stamina away too, probably. So yeah, don't get hit by him will be the rule, which is generally the rule for all black phantoms anyway, I guess. But what I'm interested in seeing now is what has Yurt, the silent thief, done in the Nexus? Because I just killed a boss, and I believe he kills an NPC every boss I kill so he will have killed someone new in the Nexus the question is who blue guys there patches is there blacksmith is there Stockpile Thomas is there. Uh, none of them are dead. He's there. Oh, Bowlhead guy is gone. I think Yurt might have killed Bowlhead guy. But there's no corpse. Maybe the corpse is up on the second level where he had left all the other corpses. But I'm just going to check this area here. I can't remember who was here. Oh, this dude's gone. I think Yurt might have killed two. That's funny. Well, he was rude to me before, so <laughs> I don't care. If Yurt killed him, good riddance. He called me a brute. That wasn't nice. Yurt did me a favor. Let's see if there's a corpse up here. Um... I don't see any, but they're definitely gone. Maybe he silently disposed of them. Or maybe they're somewhere else in the mausoleum, in the, in the Nexus. I don't know, let's go and see if Yurt's still hiding in his little alcove. See what he's got to say for himself. Hmm. Hello, brave one. 
was just looking for you. I am Yurt, the silent chief. The assassin. My work in Boletaria is almost complete. I have murdered every surviving human. Except for one. All right. It's on. I wasn't expecting this, but cool. Let's do it. Oh yeah, you got no chance yet. That was easy. Got his gloom armor set. Poor Yurt. He thought he had it covered. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't expecting that, but that was cool. I don't know where the bodies are for the other people he killed. They're probably around here somewhere, but whatever. I don't need them. Whatever item might be on them, I don't need. Now, it's time to go back to Stonefang Tunnel, turn the world to pure black, and then kill the final black phantom, Skurva, to get the final upgrade for Demon Brant. Thought I had something else to do, but I can't remember. Whatever, doesn't matter. Don't need to do anything. I'm just going to go back and do that. So thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, the next... The next part will be interesting because I'm going to start the boss rush too at the end of that. Hopefully. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll see you there. Bye for now.